<laughs> yeah, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> well, this is this is typical, isn't it? It's the first ever Game Week One um, official show. It's the first show we've ever done. We've had tech issues for the last three or four days. We, right, this is what this is what really, 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 really angers me about everything about this world is that we've done about 5,000 shows throughout the whole pre-season. We've been getting hate from people saying, oh, you can't be doing this, you can't be doing that. Well, guess what? We've picked up a load of subscribers, loads of viewers, people then praising us, saying, what a great job you've done. We come to the game week one when we get serious, everything frigging crashes. It's unbelievable. Absolutely ridiculous. Right. <laughs> I need to breathe. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, so welcome back everybody no. I'm really sorry about that we can't edit it out unfortunately because it's a live stream, live um, stream yeah. so you know you get to see us in all our glory but we've got Block FPL on you probably don't know that because you didn't hear me talk but we've got Block FPL joining us through the Game Week 1 predictions and uh, mm. yeah thanks for bearing with us all uh, 56 of you that are in channel there was like 100 but now like we've lost half of them so yeah <laughs> Yes, so uh, straight away, I want to explain the rules of the show, or the predictor game, more to the point. So quite simply put, is this. You get one point for the correct outcome. You get three points for the score bang on. And uh, I'm going to give, when it comes to the history, it's basically based on the last six fixtures that these two teams have played against each other. Now that includes friendlies, it includes cup competition, it just includes the last six fixtures of... of um, the corresponding uh, games between each representative team, basically. So I don't want people coming on saying, yeah, well, so-and-so actually scored a... I'm only going on the last, literally last six fixtures, which basically shows them their form. We want to get people involved in chat to um, basically write down their, their um, predictions as we're going through it. Like we said, we've got Block FBL that will predict along with us. Yeah, as ever, I've missed this bit. We kick off with Friday evening. It's the opening season i've been banging on about the fact that uh, will norwich actually scored yeah brought my, brett mollison i need a shot or oh, 10 you are right with that one it's liverpool versus norwich and uh yep i'll let you know what the history says after your two predictions because i don't want it to sway you here we go everybody i'm personally going to be going with four nil to liverpool jason two nil to liverpool Mm. Not optimistic at all, no. Jason, what do you mean optimistic? No, I don't think they're gonna. It's not. I don't think it's gonna be an absolute f score frenzy. I'm just gonna go two 0 Liverpool. I don't think it's gonna be probably something like a Salah goal, mate. And then a, I know probably kind of a, a weird one like a Wijnaldum or something header or something from a Robertson cross or something crazy like that. I'm gonna go two 0 Chat saying five nil, four nil, three nil, three nil, three nil, five nil, six one. Um Yeah, three one six zero. Yeah, six zero, a lot of six zeros. Uh four one says Hammer Day, Breath Mollison says three nil, um, Anarag says three nil. A lot of three nils, actually. I'm gonna go two nil. What, what do you, you think of block? Um I'm trying to decide between four or three nil. I'm gonna have to go with four nil. Um Liverpool could score, but I think I think I gotta agree with Steve on this one. It'll be the first game. Norwich will be excited, but they'll be nervous. I think Saul looks good. He'll probably get a goal, but I'm gonna go four nil. Okay. Well, <laughs> five one to Liverpool. There have been four games where Liverpool have scored five times against uh, Norwich. And uh, there's only been one clean sheet in the last six versus Norwich. So anybody with double, if not triple, uh, Liverpool defence may want to revisit that. But the history is going 5-1. Now then, on to West Ham United versus Manchester City. I think, again, it's going to be one of those where uh, I think it's going to be another demolition job here. But I think West Ham are actually going to score in this, and I'm going to go 4 1 to Man City, Jason. 4 1 to Man City. I'm going to go West Ham 0, Man City 3. Uh, Say that again, sorry, Jason. Man City 3, West Ham 0. Uh, block. I I'm going to say 3 1, Man City. 
Here we go with the history. It's going 4-1 to City. There's been, on the last six occasions, three of them have involved four goals for City and including three clean sheets. So uh, looking pretty optimistic for... Um, for a uh, what do you call it, Man City uh, potential Sterling captain as Aguero captain as if he's going to be starting, who knows? Here we go. On to the uh, on to the dribble stuff now. The teams that no one cares about, but here we go. They're the important ones, and obviously block somebody that's uh, potentially uh, still going to be tripling up with Bournemouth. It's Bournemouth versus Sheffield United. I think there's going to be goals galore here, and I'm going to go three one. To Bournemouth, I think Sheffield United are going to be taught a bit of a lesson. Welcome to the Premier League, Jason. Um, I'm going to go with a 2-1 to Bournemouth. And Block, optimistic with your triple uh, Bournemouth? Well, yeah, I mean, at this point, I've got to go with a big score for Bournemouth as much as I've promoted Bournemouth attack all preseason. Um, I think 2-1 is ridiculous. I'm going to have to say... Oof. I'm going to say 3 nothing at least. 3 nothing. All right. I'm going to make history, a note. Be dis- ridiculous 2-1. Uh, okay. <laughs> the, 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 the history is you're not going to enjoy this at all. So, boom, it's going 2-1 to Sheffield United. And of the last... They've only played each other four times in their history and uh, Bournemouth have lost on all four occasions. So there we are. Now then, on to my lads. Burnley versus uh, Southampton. I think this game is absolutely going to be terrible. And I'm going to go 1-1. Jason? Um, I think it's going to be 1-1 also. I've got it written down here. Yeah. Block, do you have any confidence for Burnley? <laughs> um, oof, I'm going to have to go one nothing Burnley just because they're home. Interesting. Uh, it's funny you say that because with the history, it's going one A particular fixture, there's been three draws. Two of the Burnley wins have actually been 1 0. And of the six games, there have been three clean sheets for Burnley. So people going with Nick Pope, maybe Charlie Taylor could be in for from some potential defensive returns there. Oh, now on to this one Crystal Palace versus Everton. We're going to have an unhappy Zaha in the ranks there. The team that Everton can't seem to afford, they all wanted a hundred million Crystal Palace for Zaha. Everton just wouldn't budge. I think Everton with their defensive record as of late, it's been absolutely phenomenal. I think this is going to be a really, really tight game though, but uh, Crystal Palace's home form is atrocious. Uh, Their defence at the moment apparently is just a makeshift, so I'm going to go Everton to edge it (laughs) 1-0. I've got exactly the same result again. 1-0 to Everton. I don't think it's going to be that many goals in that game. And the chat are saying uh, 2-1 Everton, Owen Wright. 4-0, says Zulu Ninja to Everton with a Moyes Keen hat trick. I uh, wonder if you've got him in your team, Zulu. Uh, Yash is saying 2-0 Everton. Um, Shane, 83, 2-0 Everton. 2-0 Everton again by the FPL, the defender. Uh, 1-0 Tariq uh, Hamaday says 4-0 okay convincing victories for Everton a lot of people saying 3-1 mm. 2-0 um, 3-0 to Everton says Brew in chat Ad Whitfield says 2-0 Resi Desi 2-1 um, so yeah okay so a lot of you banking over Everton scoring multiple goals uh, obviously with Crystal Palace's defence being a bit weaker now maybe Cahill ain't going to be able to keep him keep him out and um, I, I'm just going to go 1-0 but uh, a lot of people disagree and they think there'll be a few more goals mm, but what about you block uh i'm trying to decide between one nothing or one to one i'm gonna stick with y'all and i'm gonna say one nothing to everton one nothing interesting so we're all going one nil i was gonna put uh, my uh, his... hang on hang on i need to put my uh my prediction in here so i said i said everton to win one nil so i need to put it in everton to win there we go Oh, we, ain't got, we, ain't got, we, ain't got to, we ain't got to Watford yet. So this is this is Tap Tap Sport, and if you sign up with our code, you get to play it. Uh, we get an extra go, and you get a hundred pound cash pool every month, uh, which you get entered into if you get the most predictions right. And that's exclusive to you guys, elite FPL community members. Right. So yeah, we ain't got to Watford yet. Um, we haven't done. Uh, 
That's, that's the next game. But uh, the, the history yeah. is going with an extra goal. They're going 2 0 to Everton. There's been uh, Everton are unbeaten in six versus Crystal Palace. They've had uh, three clean sheets, two of which were in the last two fixtures versus Palace. So there's uh, optimism there for defensive returns for Everton. Well, you're talking about Watford. It's Watford versus Brighton. Oh, this is. I think this is. This could be either. I think the Crystal Palace Everton game is going to be one of the worst of the uh, the, the the weekend. Watford Brighton could be one of the more exciting. Could this be a welcome back to uh, the Premier League for Brighton, or is this going to be a, uh, a Graham Potter saying nope? We're going to play some exciting football. We're going to beat you. I, I think they're going to cancel each other out, and I'm going to go one-one. I'm going to go nil-nil. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, block. Uh, I'm going to have to go with um, two nothing for Watford. Well, interestingly, we joked with Jason's nil-nil, but the history is suggesting nil-nil as well. There have been five clean sheets in this fixture out of the last six. Brighton have only won once in this fixture and Watford only twice. There's been The other three were draws. Not been high-scoring either. They've been absolute dire games. So, uh, yeah, this doesn't look like it could be a high-scoring game whatsoever. Now then, uh, we know FPL Boona going to this particular game uh, it's Tottenham versus Aston Villa it's a welcome back to the Premier League for Aston Villa and I think uh, Spurs are going to have a bit of fun here I think it's going to be a, a professional job and I'm going to go 3-0 to Tottenham Interesting I'm sorry, I'm just doing my non, my uh, my uh, championship predictions at the same time. Um, that's fair enough. Uh, so Tottenham, Aston Villa, I've got down here 2-1 to Spurs. Uh, block? I think 3-1 Spurs. Well, the history is going with 2-0 to Spurs. Um, in this fixture, Spurs have kept four clean sheets and they've won five out of the last six fixtures versus Tottenham. And by the way, just to let everybody know, once we've done these predictions, I'll run through the uh, favoured captaincy options and their history versus the particular teams. Uh, you'll be very interested with uh, Sterling and Kane. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, on to Leicester versus Wolves. Obviously, uh, Wolves are playing tonight. Well, they've just played. I don't know what the score ended as, Jason, but um, I know Doherty had scored uh, after half an hour. And, uh, yeah, they've got something like a, I don't know, like a 20,000 round trip or something. Huh? 4-0. Wow, they, do you they want to were... tell us who scored? Yeah, so it was... Uh... Well, Jimenez got two goals, Rumored Neves with a penalty at the end of the game and Mac Doherty opened the scoring up. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Raul Jimenez so... scoring goals again. Yeah, do you think he's being... Um, I'll ask Block as our guest. Uh, Block, do you think uh, Jimenez is actually being overlooked? He's done really, really well so far in the Europa League for, for Wolves and no one's mentioned him at all in our uh, drafts. Yeah, I mean, no one has mentioned him, but I think it's for good reason. I mainly haven't mentioned him just because of the fixtures. I mean, you can compare him to another 7.5 option, Ryan Fraser, or, you know, 8 million Sigurdsson. Um, just the fixtures for Wolves... It, I can't. I can't really justify spending seven point five on somebody that's got whatever their fixtures are. It's not. It's not the best. Well, I, I just want to say that chat screaming that uh, Jota got three assists in that game. Yeah, yeah. I've just seen it just now. So is he somebody that we're all overlooking? <laughs> anyway, yeah. So on to our predictions. I think that Leicester. Uh, I think Leicester are going to win this. Just. And I'm going to go 2-1 to Leicester, Jason. You're going to go 2-1. I'm going to go 3-2 to Leicester. Oh, a nice high-scoring game. Wow. Yeah. What do you think on this uh, block? Uh, I think 2-1 Leicester. 2-1 to Leicester. Well, the history is going with the reverse. Um, there's been... I uh, can't even read my own writing. Brilliant. 
can't even read my own writing, so I'm not even going to read out the little statistic there. But uh, basically, the history is going with a 2-1 victory to Wolves. Now then, on to Sunday after. Well, this is this is Sunday anyway. Uh, Newcastle versus Arsenal. And obviously, Jordy Kev, uh, a.k.a. Statman, he did say that these games are usually tight between Newcastle and Arsenal. And uh, I, I think Arsenal are going to do a professional job. I think they're going to come out of this pretty comfortably here. And I'm going to go 2-0 to Arsenal, Jason. I don't know what's going on here, but you're doing exactly the same as me. I'm agreeing. Oh yeah, I I literally just have put that score down before this podcast, and now it, now it sounds like I'm just copying you. So I'm going to change it, and I'm going to go three nil Arsenal. Talking of changing, are you okay for me to change my prediction of the uh, the fourth spot from our prediction of the season? I'm thinking uh, Arsenal will end up fourth, not Chelsea. Or do you think I should just stick to Chelsea, as I just said? I mean, is that because of Tierney and because David Luiz? You think that they're going to be shored up in defence enough to keep uh, a bit more? No, it's actually mainly their attack. To be... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. <laughs> I'll change it to Arsenal. But, um, yeah, Blocker, what are your thoughts on uh, uh, the Newcastle versus Arsenal? Well, I mean, I think it's interesting that y'all both picked clean sheets for Arsenal. I know they made some signings, but they still had a notoriously poor defense for a top six team. I'm going to have to go 2 1 for Arsenal. 2 1 to Arsenal. Well, the history's going 1 0 to Arsenal. And talking of clean sheets, they've actually kept four clean sheets out of the last six, and there's been three 1 0 victories to uh, Arsenal. So uh, there we are. See, and finally. It's your boys, Man United, uh, Jason. This is the, the biggest game of the, of the weekend. Man United versus Chelsea. I honestly cannot call this game at all. So I'm sitting on the fence and I'm going 1-1. I think they're just going to cancel each other out. 3-0 uh, mm, Man United. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. You Very wait. optimistic. Wait. Yeah? You wait. You're going to come flying out of the blocks and take the game to Chelsea. Chelsea, still not fully gelled. A lot of new place, not new players in that team. Um, I think that, yeah, here we go. Here we go. 2 1 Chelsea. Oh, what? 2 1 Chelsea? 2 0 to United. I like that, Resi Desi. 2 1 United, Mark Byrne. Here we go. 1 1, Tariq, agreeing with you, Steve O. Uh, it's G Wiz with the stats. 34% in favour of United winning that. So I'm, yeah, I'm. Yeah, three 0 I hope you're right, says Yash in chat. I, trust me, it's, it's, I'm gonna be loving this. You wish, says Shane McGuinness. <laughs> yeah, I think United. I think a lot of people, and I, and I'm not just saying this with my United hat on. I do feel that yes, we've had a really disappointing transfer window. Yes, we didn't sign any major attacking talent, or you know, obviously we've got Dan James, which I feel could turn into something major in the future, but. Um, <laughs> Maguire debut own goal at Whitfield. I don't think so. Uh, no, I think that I think it's um, Tony Marshall, Rashford. It's, come on, it's your time to shine. M- Lukaku's out of the scene now. We've got Greenwood on the edge, the fringes coming in as well to the team. We've got um, you know we've got that opportunity now to to, to show the uh, the youngsters, you know, show everybody about these youngsters and getting them into the team. And um, I think Marshall this season could could do well. Yeah, uh, your thoughts, Block, on uh, Man U versus Chelsea? Oh, I gotta pretty much agree with Jason here. I'm gonna go two nothing Man United. I like the signings of Wamasaka and Maguire. I think their defense will be way better, and I think they'll start off hot. Players like Pogba not not sort of tired out from the season. I think they'll be two nothing winners. Well, that you're agreeing with the history there because. The history's going with 2-0 to uh, to United. There's been, uh, in the last six fixtures, there's been two wins for United, two draws and two wins to Chelsea. Uh, bizarrely, there's been a bit of a pattern. So when there's been uh, basically both teams scoring, the following game has been um, a clean sheet. Then it's both teams scoring, clean sheet, both teams scoring, clean sheet. And then uh, this next game is probably going to be goals galore. So... And that's our prediction, everybody. Think about whatever you will. But the most important thing is, out of those predictions, when it comes to best captaincy option, there's only a select few 
that uh, people are going to choose from. It's either going to be Salah, Sterling, Kane or Aubameyang. They're the main four. Uh, just to let everybody know, I've completely forgotten about this. In the Discord, uh, Jason's put up a poll for your elite FPL community team, who you want to captain. And uh, that's in the poll vote now. So get voting in the Discord for who you want to be your captain for game week one for your elite FPL community team. But uh, just a few stats. So obviously Salah hasn't played Norwich, so I can't give you any statistics for him. Abamyang, he's uh, only played against Newcastle twice, but they were just sub appearances. He's done absolutely nothing. Then these are the interesting ones regarding Kane and Sterling. I'll start with Kane first. He's played four games against uh, Aston Villa and he scored four goals. He got two goals in one match and then a single goal in the other two each. Sterling, on the other hand, he's uh, he's done really, really well. In the, in the six appearances versus West Ham, he's made five appearances and made one sub-appearance. And he scored seven goals and got two assists. So for anybody... Um, so for anybody that's thinking of going with Salah or Sterling um, again there's no history obviously for Salah versus um, Norwich per se but Sterling seven goals and two assists so uh, there we have it everybody read into that whatever you will Um, thank you for participating in all the predictions and everything Uh, Block while we've got you on air and uh, before we let you go are you all set for tomorrow more, uh, tomorrow evening? Yes, I am. I am going to be captaining Mohamed Salah, of course. I think that's pretty obvious choice. And yeah, uh, the team I posted earlier is the team that I'm going to stick with. Three Bournemouth players, Wilson, Fraser, and Adam Smith. Three Man City, three Liverpool. I think I think I'll start off pretty well. Okay. Yeah. What What, what are your thoughts on him captaining Sterling? Um. It's not. I mean, I'm not completely against it. I just think Salah is the clear choice. They're at home against a team that's newly promoted. West Ham did show sometimes last season they could defend well against big teams at home, like when they kept either one nothing or nil nil games mm. uh, against Chelsea. Um, I don't think that'll happen. I think Man City will win comfortably, but it's it's more likely than Norwich doing that. So that's pretty much why I'm going with Salah. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, when me and Jason come on to our, uh, well, what we're doing with our teams, um, it's going to be interesting to find out what Jason's doing, considering uh, we've got a little bet on here. But uh, uh, Block, are there any more final thoughts before we let you go, my friend? Uh, one thought is, um, what are the chances of you triple captaining in game week one? Maybe Salah. I mean, I think Salah's a decent option. I don't know. I can't really think of, you know, I mean, because... Promoter teams in their first game are historically bad. So, you know, maybe potential for a guaranteed haul. I don't know if it warrants a triple captain, but it might. Well, we all know the history of uh, double game weeks being pretty poor within reason. I know Jason last season managed to get Aguero's hat trick with the uh, triple captaincy uh, pick. But uh, I certainly think that uh, what you're saying regarding Salah versus. And he only played uh, one game, by the way. Yeah, no, that's exactly it. So, <laughs> but double game weeks are notorious for being just rubbish for yeah, when it comes to chip usage. Yeah. And I certainly think that uh, hmm. if someone's got the bottle to triple captain some anybody on uh, game week one, uh, you know, someone obvious like Sterling, Salah, Kane, I, is it worth it? I couldn't do it myself. I just couldn't do it. To know but, that uh, you've gone, you've got to go thirty-seven more weeks knowing you've used your triple captain. If it fails, you're going to feel so bad. Like yeah. I don't. Know, it's just one of those mentally. This it's that mental torture that you will put yourself through. I think that's what put, put, puts me off anyway. Yeah, I think probably the main thing putting me off is we don't really know who's in form. Like it's not like Salah's yeah. at the end of a run of good form. So with that other factor involved, then I'd probably be able to do it. But yeah, I just can't do it right now. The only other thing I want to say is I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm excited for the Cash League to start, Elite FPL Cash League. That'll be a lot of fun, as well as uh, just um, you know checking in on the Discord while the games are live. That'll be fun. That's great. You actually mentioned the Cash League. I know I'm not going to go into great detail about it, but just want to let everyone know that the entries now 
to the cash league are no longer being accepted so just want to put it out there if you've registered uh if you put your name down before 9 p.m this evening then you'll you'll get a request to join the, the cash league but we're not no, we're no longer accepting new entries from this point on into the cash league thank you all of the people that entered i think we're going to be have close to 90 people in the cash league wow. so i think that means a prize pool do quick maths 900 pounds roughly 900 pounds cash pool to spread out between the winners mm -hmm. well i say the the other managers of the month and the top four places so well done everybody that's taken part in that uh look forward to the uh the rivalry and the competitiveness that is due to um come from that absolutely jason i i absolutely cannot wait uh block if you're available t tomorrow evening to come on after the the liverpool uh a uh, game ends to give us your views on the game. You're more than welcome. Oh, I'd love to. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us. Excellent. Thanks for having me. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I think this is the moment of, of truth, Jason. Um, but before we go into revealing our teams, yeah. uh, Jason, what are guys in chat saying? Guys in chat, uh, generally we're talking about the scores that we were talking about. Um, according to Fantasy Football Fix, Robertson has a hamstring strain says Excel 8 in chat. I don't know. I've not read about that, but okay. Um, nothing on the Premier League physio table where he doesn't appear. I, I, I think that if there was meant, if there was any chances of that, it would be all over Twitter and I haven't seen anything over Twitter just about that. So maybe anyone else in chat can confirm or deny those rumors. Uh, tap tap predictions entered says fantasy football focus. Good man. Oh yeah. I, I need to put my, um, put my predictions in actually. That's just i uh, I'll go through very quickly with, with the chat my predictions um, on tap tap because you probably will be aware that they do have a couple of like uh championship teams and one american team in there so i've just put atlanta united to win i'm gonna go with the man united win against chelsea you're gonna go with leicester city win against wolves huddersfield to beat qpr uh preston north end to draw against wigan uh, birmingham city to beat bristol uh, Leeds United to win against Nottingham Forest, Derby County to win against Swansea, a draw between Watford and Brighton, and Crystal Palace to uh, sorry Everton to beat Crystal Palace. Um, there we go. So that's my predictions. I'm going to put them in now. Um, it's free to sign up, guys. If you haven't played it, get yourself entered into a cash pool of £100 each month if you sign up using our code. Our code is in the description box. It's not It's not a paid ad, guys. We're not getting a single penny from these guys. We're, just, we're working in partnership with them. They want to give us um, some support. We're launching our channel on YouTube, and so far, it's it's really helping. So, yes, yeah, sign up. Uh, which way did you go for the Atalanta game, just of interest? Um, I don't know much about the uh the, the mls but i've gone with um i've gone with the uh atlanta united to win i don't know who, who the better team there we are there we are you've just answered your own question the history is suggesting a high scoring atalanta win okay well there you go that was my gut there's there, there's, there's <laughs> the history for you excellent um jason i think it's time to uh Let's do this, to be honest with you. It's time to reveal our teams. I think um, the fact that you've got the tech up and everything. Now, these aren't our finalised teams, just to let everybody know, because obviously we've still got a day to go before it's all um, they're ready to go. But, uh, yeah, Jason, are you um, ready to put your team up on screen and let the, the, the are people you, are know? You gonna, are you going to be sharing your team in Discord then? So I can bring it uh, up? Yeah, I'll do that. Good yeah, yeah. thinking, yeah. Right, okay. So this is my team going into game week one ladies and gentlemen this is my team matt ryan in goal i think he's got favorable fixtures i still rate him as a goalkeeper um and we're gonna have lucas dinia alexander arnold zinchenko and wan Bissaka. my man wan midfield powerhouse midfield of five awesome midfielders in de bruyne salah sterling ryan fraser and perez and an up front I've got a solo Mr. King for Bournemouth. Um, hoping on, obviously, with the Kelly injury, I'm hoping that Rico can uh, be a kind of a four million backup if uh, something does happen in there. Um, but I'm fully expecting that full 11 to, to play game week one. Obviously, Zinchenko is a fire that possibly needs to be extinguished at some point. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but I think Cancelo won't, 
take his role. I don't think Mendy's anywhere near coming back to the team. I think Zinchenko is pretty much guaranteed. I mean, I will be red-faced if it doesn't happen, but I think he's pretty much guaranteed for the first few weeks at the very least. Um, what do you guys think? And and Tekia going on Leeds. Oh, he's gone to Leeds. Yeah, I haven't. Okay, fine. I haven't changed him. It's fine. He's third sub. I'll change him. Um, uh, but yeah, Jason. The, the the simple question is, what is the likelihood of this being your team come seven o'clock tomorrow evening? Oh, this uh, barring injury, this will be my team. But barring an injury or any real news that Zinchenko is is a doubt, or any other of my players are going to be a doubt like I said, being an injury or this will be my team come game week one. Wow. Wow. Interesting. So I've put up my team in the, uh, the discord. Uh, it's a four, four, two formation. And, um, this isn't my final draft. I've still got, um, a few dilemmas, so to speak. I, uh, tweeted out earlier on on my personal page, even though, <laughs> I don't know how it even got any votes because the only followers that I have are people that watch the bill, but <laughs> people did actually vote. And my dilemma is basically, do I go with what I've got now, which is Kevin De Bruyne, Coleman and Zinchenko, or go with Sigurdsson, Dina and Laporte? They're the three. Uh, we're getting breaking news through here that uh, some players have been added yeah. to the FPL. So okay, hang on go, a sec. Go for it, Jason. I'm going to see if we can get the, uh, the FPL... Twitter feed up on screen. Give me a second. Uh, Brett Mollison, this wink. Yeah, we've got some announcements. We've got some announcements. Um, so we've got Cancelo has been announced at 5.5 two minutes ago. Um, we've got Andy Carroll at 5.5 for Newcastle. Is uh, he? K- Kieran Tierney, 5.5. Ryan Sessignon. And La Salso. So La Salso and Sessignon, right? Get this. 7.5 for La Salso. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I think that, mm, <clears throat> I think a lot of people got 6.5 to play with. I don't know if they're going to be able to find 7.5 so easily in midfield. Um, Ryan Sessignon, midfielder, 5.5. That's interesting. But uh, how can you leave me out of the team? There we go. But yeah, some interesting prices there. Is a bit too much, seven point five, I think. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about those prices? What do you <laughs> think of those prices, Steve? Is that that hasn't changed anything for me? That's not. No, I mean, like, they're, they're all they're all wait and sees. I mean, they're, they're all brand new to the Premier League. There's no, uh, you know, Le, Le Celso, At the end of the day, he's apparently being brought in to take over from Ericsson. But if Ericsson stays, then he ain't going to be an option. Full stop. However, if he does leave. It could be a very good, very good Mark, signing indeed. Mark Burn, Mark Burn in team, in Burn in the chat saying, after seeing your teams, I'm definitely winning the cash league. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's the spirit. It's fighting talk. You wait. No, it's I, interesting because uh, I watched. Seen his I, team actually, yet. I actually tweeted uh, Davey FPL, and uh, I watched his uh, final draft uh, video, and when he finally revealed who. Uh, his team was I just was like oh it's pretty much my team barring the odd player here and there and uh, yeah so I'm assuming you've got my team up on screen at the moment yep. as it is now yep. uh, it's a 442 formation for people listening on audio it's pretty much the elite FPL community team to be honest with you barring the odd player uh, we've gone with Nick Pope in goal uh, Van Dijk Zinchenko wan and Coleman De Bruyne Salah, Fraser and Sterling, and then we got Wilson, and I'm going with Wesley up front. However, I'm tempted to take Wesley out for a one-week punt on Jay Rodriguez. Um, I just think that uh, potentially Jay Rod could score against his former club. He's a proven uh, Premier League player at the end of the day. He's a very good player. And I think potentially Jay Rod could start up front with uh, Chris Wood. He's playing his old team. He's going to want to do something in front of his, uh, his, his his fans. And but it's just a case of hold oh, a minute here. That's just a wasted transfer, possibly. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's get let's get let's get an interesting let's get an interesting chat reaction right now. Right, right. So if you like my team more, put a J in chat. 
If you like Steve-O's team more, put an S in chat. Okay, let's, let's just gauge the reaction. So this is Steve-O's team, 4-4-2, with Wesley Wilson up front. Sterling, Fraser, Salah, De Bruyne, um, Coleman, Wimpersaka, Zenchenko, Van Dijk. Okay, right. So that's with Pope and goal. Let's see what the chat are saying now between the teams. This is just pure... I'm really interested to know. <laughs> Right. It's all Jay. You can forget. <laughs> you, you guys can forget about. You can forget about in Ketia on the bench. He's. He, he, I don't care about him. I'll change him out to someone else that he's never going to play a minute. But, um. But what do you think? So we've got a lot of Jays there. A lot of Jays. A couple, Jays. Of, a couple of S's in there. Okay. Okay. I like. So maybe I'm. I'm feeling. I'm feeling happy that you guys are going with my four five one. I love the four five one. I. I. I really. Really do. I didn't want to go five in defence. I wanted to invest the money in midfield in those players i just feel are gonna get points de bruyne i've harked on about him all week it seems like forever i've been talking about de bruyne he is gonna be he's gonna be doing well um he's gonna he's he's fit he's ready he's had a good preseason. they've got sterling there as well him and sterling are gonna get the points they're gonna city are gonna decimate teams this season much like last season salah is my captain at the moment who knows i might even switch to sterling at the moment i'm actually really interested in the history um and that's kind of have i got the minerals to switch salah to sterling it's not about changing my team last minute because my team is set my team is set will i change my captaincy is the big one will i have the the guts to go Salah to Sterling and just... Assen yeah? Assen essentially, essentially what it's come down to is that I'm putting my faith in an extra striker, Yeah, basically. Yeah, I don't And think... I'm just looking at your team on YouTube because I'm not going to bring it up on the, the screen or anything. And I'm just looking at that and I'm, I've am i gone into panic mode straight away. Right, Perez for me is a striker. Like, I treat mm -hmm. Perez as a striker. I treat Salah as a striker. I treat Sterling as a striker. That's my logic when it comes to FPL at this season. This Obviously, the, the positions that these midfielders are playing are so advanced that they are basically strikers for me. And mm. we've got the providers, De Bruyne, provider, Fraser, provider, King's on penalties. King is a provider to Wilson. I just think that this team, I mean, by all means, just go with what you want to do. But I've got a good feeling about this team and I'm looking forward to seeing how it does game week one. I'm going to... I'm sticking to my guns. This is going to be my team, guys. This is going to be... I'm not changing it, I promise you. I've actually gone into panic mode. This is this is what happens to me. I, I'm getting really, really anxious. I'm thinking, have I done the right thing here? Am I going to just copy you and change my team completely and just think, yeah, stuff it. I'm going to go 4-5-1. No, I've got... A <laughs> this is ridiculous, isn't it? This is absolutely mad. I mean, the main question is, though, is that... <laughs> Yeah, Simon Anderson, panic mode. What about uh, your captaincy? Who are you going with? Well, like I said, it's on Salah at the moment. But I I don't know. I just... After watching Salah in pre-season, he's not... He's, he's, he reminds me of last season where he's just been, like, misfiring a little bit. He's left... He's just... Yeah, he's been getting in all the right positions, making all the right moves, but he's just not found that final, you know, bit of finesse for me. And I just think that... I just think that Sterling is staring me in the face right now. He's staring me right in the face in the middle of my team. And I'm thinking, why don't I just use my brains and go with Sterling instead of going with the crowd that's going with Salah? I just think that everything points to Sterling for me. Forget Norwich at home. Forget that, you know, Fark saying that he's not going to play defensive. He's not going to go park the bus. I don't believe that. I think I think it isn't going to be a route. I think, uh, what did I say the prediction was? 2-0. I said 2-0 to Liverpool. And will Salah be involved in both goals? Possibly not. Maybe he might get one. But I think Sterling's ceiling... I think Sterling's ceiling... I know it's going to be against a lot of people's beliefs, but I think Sterling could do well. And I, I just want to get the energy to do it. I want to get the faith to go with Sterling. Chris Buss in chat saying go with Sterling. Do you know what? Come join me tomorrow night. This, this time tomorrow we'll know whether or not that was a good idea. Um, join us tomorrow night and we, we'll, we'll go through this trauma together. Um, that's all I'm going to say. When, uh, you know when, um, like, for instance, in my case, I'm looking at this team and I just look at it and I think, that is excellent. I just... Flame it now, man. I nearly swore then. Oh, this is a very, very good team. And you know, when I, I say to you, I like doing rate my teams out of 15, I give a mark out of 15 and basically which players would I am. Um, I 
the record, steal or relax. I remember a couple of weeks back, you said you were going with your gut this year instead of letting others close. Just for... This is what FPL does to us. In all seriousness, this is what FPL does to us. We, uh, we, we look at others um, and we just think, Christ, what have I done? But uh, it's like Derek, I said, I'm going with my gut. And uh, the reason... Oh, you've taken me off now. <laughs> you're taking your team off. I'll bring it back but, on. Um, I'll bring it back on. There we go. I, I, I'm just looking at that team. And I would give it the starting 11 easily. 11 out of 11. I'd take all of them. I think they're brilliant. Um, you you your bench. Yeah, you for, for, I, I'm just gonna say the bench is just a write off. I I'm really hedging my bets. For those of you that spent money in defence, fair play. That's just not how I play FPL. I'm going with a bit of a risk. I'm I'm pretty certain that all these players are gonna feature game with one decent minutes, if not all the game. Mm. And I think they've all got their own respective potential to go, to get attacking attacking returns. Obviously, Wan Bissaka. <laughs> just <laughs> I just look at my team and I'm like, you know what? This is I've got to stop, stop the stream. I can't talk anymore. Steve-o's, got, Steve-O's feeling it now, guys. He's feeling the pressure. I mean, is he going to copy me? I don't know. He yeah. might do. D- D- Dan in chat saying, just copy Jay. I ain't copying. I mean, although then again, you've got like, in all seriousness, then I've got like that. But wait a minute. Davey FPL, he's gone 4 4 2. The team is virtually the same as mine. What does he and me know that I'm not? <laughs> that you don't? I don't know. But. Yeah, I, I like the logic about Perez. I do like the um, the the thing about Perez. Yeah, Jason, actually, I did the Daily Armour. Throw up that clip. All right, guys, 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 we've got to play the clip. We've been asked to play the clip. Daily Alarm is asked to play the clip. There we go. <laughs> it's it's fantastic bit. and... Uh, Guys, you're seeing what this Elite FBL um, podcast is all about. It's two. What did Jason write in the uh, description here? And I really, really liked the description. It's um, uh, surprise, surprise. He's changed it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Basically, two lads <laughs> which are extremely competitive when um, when it comes to fantasy football and. Yeah, um, I don't even want to talk anymore. I'm so like my my stomach is just sunk. Are you really are you really that worried about my team, Steve-O? Like, you know Yeah, because I just look at that, I just look at Wesley straight away. I just think, Wesley, what why am I going against my own thing and going with players which are come from a promoted team? (laughs) It's ridiculous. Why am I going with Coleman instead of Dina? For crying out loud, it's just, I know exactly what's going to happen on game week one. Dean is going to be that one goal scoring, that one nil win, a free kick. Um, I I like my midfield. Don't get me wrong. I think my midfield is excellent. They're all um, players which are key to their teams. Uh, De Bruyne, Salah, Fraser. Yeah, well, you've got got almost the same midfield as me, bar the fact that you've got Wesley and I've got Perez. Yeah. Uh, if I was to do, if I was to go with the three five one though, I certainly wouldn't be going with uh, me personally. I wouldn't be going with King. He's too much of a rotation risk for me. I'd rather be having someone like Wilson, who's a guaranteed um, no matter what for that um, for that that particular team in Bournemouth. Uh, there is a thought process in me where I'm thinking: Do I actually get rid of Fraser, downgrade him to Perez, and upgrade uh, Zinchenko to to Laporte and everything? my bench is just it's just terrible it's but same, yeah but it's I'm the same as most people a lot of people got a terrible bench let's be honest with you they got no value in their bench and you know it's you know you, you'll be very unfortunate to have to have one of your bench players play and if he does it's then donker which i would say is better than the options that i've got on the bench unless mason greenwood does surprise everybody and play i don't know more than 45 minutes against chelsea and score a goal and, and that would be fluke but um and i, I would completely say i'll be the first to admit that uh you know that would be lucky but um but you've yeah like the guys in chat are saying you've got a good team um Littman says Jason doesn't have Van Dyke if he does well you'll be he'll be hurt and yeah I, yeah I don't have I don't have Van Dyke but I do have Trent Alexander-Arnold so you know it's I I at the two of them I I prefer Alexander-Arnold for the attacking you know he's on set pieces he's he's 
he's a really attack he's a great attacking threat down the right hand side and um yeah of course if they get a clean sheet he's gonna get the same points as van dyke but um you know only I mean, the van dyke's a million less Block, block FPL straight away. I mean, I, I, I can answer this instantly. Wesley and De Bruyne or Vardy and Perez. Well, instantly I'm thinking Vardy and Perez. Instantly I'm thinking that. I, because they're proven you've Premier got, League yeah, players. Yeah, you've got, you've got no Leicester. And I think Leicester are going to be... be... Fair, their fixtures aren't great. Mm. To be fair, their fixtures no. aren't actually that great. Uh, people are banging on about Leicester. I mean, Everton, like are people, bang, people are talking about Everton more than Leicester in terms of fixtures, yes. Um, I don't have any, uh, yeah. So, so basically, I don't have any Everton attackers. So, so, so it's one of those where, like, you haven't got. I, I would personally, um, not worry about that team. That team's set up ready for game week one. Obviously, you've got a plan with Wesley. Um, but I, I'm actually starting to think you're not quite settled on this team, Steve. I think you've got a few changes. No, really, actually, I've, yeah. Like, like I said, I, I, my main concern is it's putting all that money into Kevin De Bruyne when I'm thinking maybe Sigurdsson, Laporte and Dina are better options than the ones that I've got now. And I think if I'm honest with you, I'm probably going to switch to that. It's just, it, to be honest with you though, De Bruyne. Um... Well, Littman and chat saying, I mean, he's, a few people are on about De Bruyne and it's, yeah, it's one of those where how much do you get out of your team by having Salah, De Bruyne, and Sterling in the team? Basically, it's but De Bruyne. He, he he. It's a fact. Every single game, he will get you a minimum of an assist. And when he plays these rubbish teams, I West Ham, no disrespect, <laughs> but they're rubbish compared to Man City. Man City are gonna absolutely roll over you, as proven with the history. I think Kevin De Bruyne could get. A hat trick of assists. I think, six. yeah, I, I, absolutely. I mean, that's where I've, 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 I started the pre seat like a few weeks ago. I was getting getting up in the morning, and I was having like this feeling that Harry Kane was the man to be bringing in game week one. That everyone's kind of like maxing out on midfield and it kind of ignoring the premium strikers. And I think Harry Kane is more. I don't know. I just. It was between Harry Kane and De Bruyne for me. Like, as anyone that's been watching the stream knows that I had Harry Kane in. And I was, you know, and obviously the tongue-in-cheek comment about captain in Harry Kane game week one. Um, but I'm really more settled on my, my team with De Bruyne in than Harry Kane. Um, it just gives me that extra bit of money to kind of spread that money and bring those players up to, to the standard I'd want in my team. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm set. I'm set. I mean, Block Block's coming in with some, some wonderful advice. And I, 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 if ironically, the advice that Block is giving me is what I would give someone else, which is basically, well, what does he say here? Uh, I think for 0.5 more, you can get a quality player like Perez or Jota ahead of Wesley. And they're proven Premier League players. Um, I'd rather have, at this precise moment in time, I'd probably go with Jota ahead of Wesley um, sorry ahead of Perez uh, but, but with Wolves fixtures how will Europa and everything I'd probably take Perez just for um, for that um, safety this is, you're, you're witnessing this everybody this is what you're in for if you're not liking it unsubscribe if you're not liking what we're showing now none of this calling every single day 25 hour streams a day that ain't happening anymore you're getting the real the real Steve and Jason now, and uh, I'm going into panic mode because I think I'm going to rip up the scrapbook and I'm just going to I'm going to go with my own advice and I think uh, yeah I think I'm going to change that up a bit. But thank you to the people that voted on my uh, my profile. That was a <laughs> you must be all Bill fans. But um... <laughs> I just uh, um, you know, yeah I'm I, I'm interested in that selection. It's a safe it's a safe selection. I mean it's interesting with Wesley, but I think you've got enough class in that team to not worry. But if you're going to rip it up, then rip it up. But don't forget that tomorrow you're going to be at work, and the worst thing you can do is is basically be in a rush. So you, I I understand that you're going to be finishing work at what time tomorrow, Stevo? Six. 
So, you, so Steve-O's finishing work at six o'clock tomorrow. He's going to be commuting back home in a busy London rush hour. It'll take an hour, basically. So it's going to take an hour to get home. You're going to be on your phone. You're going to be looking at everything that is FPL. I ain't going to be on my phone. <laughs> Actually, no. Yeah, I will be on my phone. So you're gonna be you're gonna be looking at FPL, you're on Twitter, you're gonna be on you're gonna be all looking finding out any news that you can find out about the Liverpool game and anything else. You're gonna be panicking. Oh, don't do the mistake of panic transfers and I mean if you're gonna if you're gonna do anything now, you're gonna stay up till three in the morning tonight sorting your team out. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing like I wouldn't be doing that, commuting home tomorrow, last minute, getting home and quickly changing your team because how many times we have you said, oh, I, I made this decision and I shouldn't have done it. And it's always because it's kind of a panic move and you've gone with, you know, with, without your gut. So have a real think about it tonight. And uh, 6.45 is a deadline. 6.45? I it's, it's no, seven. it's 7 o'clock is a deadline. I just read out yeah. 6.45. Was, no, 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 7 o'clock is a deadline. Yeah, um, Cameron so, Wolfe is saying that there. <laughs> I don't know where that's going. It's eight o'clock. It's an eight o'clock kickoff uh, for um, yeah. the, the game tomorrow. So yeah, it's um, as Joe B said, uh, squeaky bum time. It's uh, it certainly is. I think. Um, I mean, what do you? How do you want to play this now? Do you want to go into Discord? Take a, just a couple of yeah, calls. We'll get a how, couple of calls. Are feeling on. ahead of uh, tomorrow? Absolutely. Let's get a few calls on this uh, evening. If you want to come and jump in, come and wait in the waiting room, and um, we'll get you live on air. Um, so we've disclosed our teams. Thank you for the feedback and chat about the teams. We can't have Absolutely, every, yeah, yeah, we yeah. can't have everybody that we want, and that's just the fact um, of the matter, really, in terms of FPL. Um, and there will always be someone. Don't forget, you'll be, and I know you will do. A lot of you in chat, you'll be going on these forum sites. You'll be going onto YouTubers' channels, much like ours. You'll be in Discord. You'll be in other forums. And you'll be asking for a critique on your team. There'll always be someone that will give you and their idea and their change. And they very rarely do you ever see someone say, "Good to go. Don't worry about it." You'll always have people trying to put their two pence worth into your team. Remember to hold fire, hold true to your beliefs, hold true to your gut feeling. Don't just react to someone's opinion. You may the amount of times I've seen people change their teams up because one person, twenty people could have read their post. And been like, yeah, that's a good team. I'm not going to write anything. That one person that writes something says, oh, you know what? You shouldn't have De Bruyne in your team because Kane is probably a better option. Or, you know, you're better off investing in defence. And that person all week has been with KDB and then decides at the last minute to switch KDB out. And then what happens? KDB gets a hat-trick of assists. And they're, they're left feeling really sick. So just, just be careful when it comes to these rate my teams. Don't don't panic because it always like even there'd be every everyone's gonna have people telling telling you to switch uh switch out players so yeah that's basically my point is to stick hold true to your beliefs absolutely yeah uh yeah so the call is jake's uh... yeah let's get him in fantasy football focus let's bring him in fantasy football focus you're live on the elite fpl call in welcome my friend um thank you for being here and um can you hear me Yes, I hear you loud and clear. Thanks for having me on, guys. Okay, have you been watching the stream? Yeah, I've been watching it all, all since it started and it cut out and we've I got know, it going I again. Know. I haven't stopped. We had technical issues earlier on. I do apologise for that. So what do you no. think? First question, are you set for your team come tomorrow night? Are you settled? Yeah, I've been uh, struggling mentally that way because... Uh, transfers, um, injuries. I mean, even seeing Doherty score earlier made me think back to last season and want to get him in. But I thought, no, we're just going to keep it that way for now. Yeah, that's, that's you like you, you can't have everybody in. But the, the, I've got your team up. And wow. So you, so this is the team you posted, right? So um, you've got a Bamiang in there. You've got Pepe in there. Um, you've got Moise Keane in there. So this is a team of, from in my opinion, a team of potential. Like this is this isn't like I mean we know we know that Pepe was a massive goal scorer last you know last season, and coming into that Arsenal team, you would expect him to do well. You would expect him to, but you don't know for definite. You don't know for definite how Moise Keane's going to settle in. For Everton, but there's a great potential in him as an FPL player. This, to me, 
looking at this team now, I, I'm actually going to go out there now, and you guys in chat, you can give me your opinion. That to me looks like a wild card game week five, game week six team. Mm. That looks to me yeah. like a wild card team and you know, an early wild card team to me. And you could really be ahead of the point curve, or you could potentially without Salah. Um, without KD Brick, you could be behind. Now, but but it's the gamble you take. Of course, it's a gamble you take in FPL and, and you're playing the game to have fun. So, um, see, you've got Reese Nelson there as well, Lundstrom and Reed. No, we, we won't talk about those. But yeah, talk me through this 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 faith in in the likes of Pepe Keane. Obviously, I, I don't need to ask you about Aubameyang. I think he will do well. Um, but yeah, your selection's there and only going with three in, in defence. Yeah, I just think there's going to be a bit of a switch this season in attacking returns. And I just feel that because teams are strengthened so much in the transfer window in an attacking sense that these players are not going to get forward quite as much. I think it's just going to be more in midfield and attack. And then the idea behind Pepe is I don't believe Arsenal spend all that money on such a great player who is also wanted by other big clubs as well. And I think Newcastle, you definitely play him in there. And yet again, we've got uh, transfers leaving Arsenal as well, which makes room for Reese Nelson. So I, I won't he's going to join Everton. Mm. That gives Nelson room. So I've got him on my bench. And that thinking is if Pepe does not actually start, yeah, and then they can just uh, Nelson can come in and do a job because I think Nelson is up there to start as well. He's been playing okay in preseason. Okay, okay, I see the logic in that. Um, there was there have been a couple of comments in chat about obviously Pepe game week one. Uh, I don't, I don't think Pepe's anywhere near 100 percent fit to play. I think he possibly will come on as a substitute if Arsenal aren't comfortably ahead. Um, I would be wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't feature at all. But Reese Nelson um could definitely feature, and you know it. I don't know about putting that 9.5 in midfield. That is possibly at risk of not playing that's just me i i like i said that to me looks like an early wildcard team after the after those players have been established in their respective teams but i completely respect your opinion and i respect your choices on this i think that you could very much have a smug look on your face um you know with those picks um come game week two Hopefully, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is it is admittedly a bit of a gamble with with my picks. Um, yeah, but you've, you've rolled the dice. A if they do play, if they do feature, it, it could prove uh, quite good. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, Block F to Biala actually saying he likes your team besides the lack of Liverpool attack and very and keen, very risky but could pay off. Absolutely echoes what I've said. I respect it, Stevo. Stevo, you 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 you're gonna go for the jugular on this one. You're gonna you're gonna speak your mind on uh, on our friend Fancy Football. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do the classic. Makes my team look good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I I do agree with Jason's words. I I think that the the lack of um, Salah. I mean. I'm not going to say if Salah does this or that, but I, I, I'll ask you this. You heard our predictions earlier on, OK? Yeah. We're all pretty much thinking that, including the history, we're all pretty thinking that uh, Norwich are going to get battered, basically. And Salah, you'd like to think, will be part of the goals and the assists in that. Are you not concerned about that, considering that the Arsenal game looks like it's going to be quite a low-scoring one? And you've put your faith into Arsenal rather than Liverpool. Um, no, and, and as was mentioned earlier, I think we all have our own preference and we're going to choose who we feel in our gut. And that's what I'm trying to change this season. So many times last season, I changed my mind last minute. I'm just trying to stay with my gut instinct. Uh, it's just what I feel. Um, Absolutely. I couldn't agree anymore. Just, just you know, if you've got that gut feeling, stick with it, man. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? What's the worst that can happen? Pepe doesn't play. Moise Keane doesn't feature that many minutes. Uh, due to fitness and Aubameyang blanks. I mean, 
<laughs> no, of course, you, you'd be all right. I did actually have Lacazette in to start with, but because of his ankle, which I think he might be okay. Uh, word has it that he might actually be fine. But then that's a gamble as well. And I know Bamiang is mainly on penalties, but what I think we're going to see in the new season is uh, it's a bit like a Bamiang and Lacazette's close relationship. They're pretty much brothers. The way they joke around, uh, it's great for that link the chemistry, on yeah. the pitch yeah, yeah. and off. And I think they're going to rotate on penalties. Okay, so it it takes the captain headache away. Like obviously you got Sterling and Aubameyang. Um Obviously, with no Salah, you take away that captaincy headache. People in chat rightly pointing out, um, Resi Desi, 95% owned by the top 1,000 managers last season, Mohamed Salah. Um, big risk. Let's hope Friday night comes, you stick to your guns, and Mohamed Salah doesn't score a hat-trick. Let's hope, because if he does, there's big pressure then on you to have your team perform. With Sterling, which I think Sterling can easily perform away at West Ham, but... Um, but I respect your team. I'd like it. And I, I, I really hope you're free tomorrow night to come on. Absolutely. Yeah, Excellent. I'm sure I will be. And also, just one more thing. Uh, my thinking on it is that once Pepe does adapt, I think Salah will have his off days. I mean, everyone can have their off days. And that's what I didn't like about Salah last season. Yeah, he's ended up scoring highly. But whenever I... I happen to get on him, he wouldn't do well. So it's, I don't know, it's just little things like that that kind of stick in your head. But as we said earlier, gut instinct, guys. Uh, and last minute changes can cost you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. If, if, you, if you're making rush, rash changes um, close to the deadline, you're not thinking them through and you're opening yourself up to um, disappointment, in my opinion. Um, but thank you ever so much for joining us this evening, Fantasy Football Focus. I look forward <coughs> to speaking to you again tomorrow. We're going to uh, we're going to get through our callers this evening, and I, and um, I've got a few other people. We've got Talcol waiting in chat, Tornado Gangster, and Anu 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 Raj. Uh, we've got uh, Zulu Ninja there as well. Uh, chicken tikka masala's in there also is charlie bit my finger he's he's also a regular on the show um steve what did you think of that then that was, that's different isn't it it's different come this close to the game week one it, it, it is and uh, i mean going back to my team i don't want to keep up and on about it but i i've gone the safe option yeah you have fantasy football focus has gone full on risk mode but again it's the classic example of well, when you look at it Telemons, Perez, they're going to be key to Leicester. Sterling, the main man at uh, Man City, along with Aguero and Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, uh, Wilson, Aubameyang, they're going to be the main strikers at their respective teams. Mm. Uh, this Moise Keane, brand new to the Premier League. I think of the two brand new signings there, I think Moise Keane is probably the, the most risk of them not performing that well. Pepe, I think, is going to I think I, I said it before. I think he's going to be uh, what Mane did um, for Liverpool when he first moved to Liverpool. I think Pepe, you're going to be looking at a minimum of ten goals and uh, maybe double-digit returns and assists as well across the season. And then, of course, the back three: uh, Van Dijk, Wan-Bissaka, and Zuma. Zuma uh, yeah. It's good. It's it's all right. It's, it's decent. Okay, it's really good. Okay, we've got a celebrity in chat. We've got John Harris, the winner of the uh, of the FPL League last season. John ah. Harris. Good luck, everyone, he says. Hope we all have a great season. I hope you have a good season, but not so good as last season because I want to finish ahead of you. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'll take it air block. Thank you for, for jumping on and uh, being with us. Um, looking forward to tomorrow's stream. I really am. I mean, the excitement levels are building up already. Um, tell, um, tell, tell the audience what we're doing tomorrow, Jason. What the plan is. Okay, so this is the plan for tomorrow. I finish work at five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I'm going to hopefully get home around about the 20 past five mark and get myself sorted to stream as soon as I, I possibly can. So it's going to be somewhere between the half five and quarter to six mark. If the fiance has something to say about it, it may be closer to the six mark. So between half five and six, somewhere between that time tomorrow, between half five and six, a stream will go live from us. We will then stay live throughout the Liverpool, well, throughout the deadline, throughout the Liverpool, we'll get callers in, we'll get people talking about their teams, about their last-minute decisions, about their their crazy 
punts about their captaincy picks and we'll uh, then go through the Liverpool game and we'll report the Liverpool score. We'll go through it together as a community um, and we'll we'll find out we'll find out about the uh, captaincy of Salah, whether or not it pays off. And then um, hopefully before then, sorry, the most, quite the most important part, Steve-O will be rushing home from work uh, and hopefully he'll get to us about seven-ish. 7.30. 7.30, 7.30, and then he'll join us on air at half seven. Um, by that point, hopefully the game would be almost, well, it'll probably be updating for a while. So um, probably get him on, find out what steve has done to his team if he did anything, and then that's when the fun begins because then the game's going to update. We're going to see some teams. We're going to then get through the game and then we're going to um, analyze what's happened. So it could be a long one tomorrow. It could be a long one, um, but I'm really excited for it. And yeah, it's going to be crazy. Uh, next caller, right? Next caller. Here we go. Um, we got Zach. So, so, I don't think we've had this person on before, so we don't know what his microphone is going to be like. I know a few people have been waiting in the chat. So um, Zacho Brat. Zacho Brat, you're live on the FPL call in. Please can you mute the stream and uh I'll mute your mic if it's um, if it's muted. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Zacho. Welcome to the stream. Are you are you new? Are you a new member of the elef, uh, elite FPL community by any chance? Yeah, I've just recently joined this week. Just joined this week? And how how are you finding the Discord? Helpful. It's like I've been given quite a few punts which I never would have looked at if I wasn't on it. Cool. Hopefully, is... hopefully you've been led in the right direction by our community members. And um, <laughs> I hope, hope have, so. yeah. have you posted? Um, oh, here we go. It's another picture of yeah. Mama's mug on there as well. Show that off. This is something which you can win, by the way, um, by coming manager of the month in the Elite FPL Community League. It's just been changed, not the podcast league. It's Community League, um, and that's your prize, <laughs> monthly prize draw. Um, but yeah, um, so I'll bring your team up on on there now. And um, I think so, I've propped it, but I'm not yeah, sure. I've, I've got it. Yeah, I've got it here. Got Begovic in goal. Okay. Um, um, I'm not sure if he's a starter, but I wanted the Bournemouth defender in there. Right. Okay. So Alexander Arnold, Van Dyke, Zinchenko, Dinya. So the five at the back. Are you uh, the Walker Peters? Are you uh, not concerned about Walker Peters? Um, I've recently done a transfer for and brought in Duffy instead of him, but I'm fifty-fifty between the two. Okay, okay. Um, Salah, Sterling, Captain, Fraser, Sterling, Captain. Okay. Trossard, a player I've seen quite a bit of. Um, I think that team is an almost for me. I think it's an almost. I think you can do better. I think, I think you do better. I could do, I think you do better in goal. I think you do better with Walker yeah. Peters. I think you can switch him out. Um, Trossard, I don't know. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced at the moment, at the beginning of the season. Um, Steve-O, what's your thoughts on that team? Some really nice picks in there, but and I love the captaincy pick, by the way. If, uh, what Can I quickly ask, what spurred you to move away from Salah and go to Sterling? Is it the history? Is it the form of Salah pre-season? What is it? it? It is the history, but it's also that he's playing on Friday night. And if that goes wrong, then it's the whole, you know, game week ruined. Yeah. I don't, yeah. And I also seen quite a few things where Sterling could be playing up front, but even if he doesn't, he's still got a good history against West Ham. So, I mean, I saw this team posted a lot about a week ago, where the meta seemed to be five at the, like just over a week ago, when I mean, every man and his dog was doing five at the back, five, five, uh, four ones, five, three twos. I mean, it's it seemed to be, I I I favour the four five. You gone with a five four. Um, yeah, I mean, Steve-O, you haven't spoke much. What do you think about this team? <laughs> I haven't spoke much because I'm still in disarray about, about, about half an hour ago looking at your team. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's um, again, it's the Walker Peters, isn't it? And the, the, tr- the, Trossard, the Trossard pick, I think. Um, they're nice. I mean, the, the Walker Peters one is extremely punty. Um, we don't know if he'll be first team or you'd like to think that he's going to play on Sunday but after that is he a transfer waiting to happen Uh, Trossard oh I I think potentially that could be a massive payoff he's supposed to have done really really well this pre-season and uh, to be fair 
overall, I think that's a pretty solid team. It's just, I personally would rather just go with Henderson and a four point um, million goalkeeper as so set and forget rather than two rotating. But apart from that, Jason, I think something. it's pretty good. Your team is your I... team is solid. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to say? Um, so it's between this team and also if I was to transfer Zinchenko yeah. for I would say Diop. And then Henderson to a four point zero, and then I can upgrade Begovic to Edison and just secure that Man City defender. Mm. That's a very good plan. Mm. Yeah, very good plan. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure. I mean, it's it, it again. It's um, we. I mean that that is a decent plan. I think what you've got at the moment. I mean, just needs a, a tweak. I mean, the double rotated goalkeepers. I don't think is necessary. Um, but that's just how mm. I play. That's yeah. how I play the game. I don't like to have the headache of having to choose between two goalkeepers each week. That's just that's just me. Um, and Do you know I don't. Which Bournemouth keeper is going to start? Steve-O, do you know which Bournemouth keeper is going to start? I, I don't even know who plays for Bournemouth to be honest with you. <laughs> so I'm just going to go. I think with, Begovic. Uh... I think Begovic is a sure start. Let's just have a look. Yeah, they've got four keepers. Yeah, they got about 15 goalkeepers and uh, no one actually yeah. knows. They've all been playing pre-season, so it's just a case of which one. Does he go with the experience of Begovic? Does he go with the youngster that begins with... I forget his name. Begins it's going to be T. Begovic. It's got to be It's got to be Begovic, right? <clears throat> You'd like to think so, yeah. It's like the Burnley debate, isn't it? Is it Pope? Is it he, Is it Hart? Is it going to be uh, well, this it's, new it's, keeper that we've brought in? <laughs> well, it's, you know, uh, people saying Ramsdale... People, you know, Lippmann saying could be Travers. It is, it's a, it's a toss of a coin. But I think surely Begovic is the season goalkeeper there. You know, I would, I would, I'd be very. I don't know. It's, a, it's a lot. Of, that again, that is a pick. Bournemouth goalkeeper is a pick that I don't, wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to risk. Um, Which four point five would you go for then, Matt Ryan? And then have Barton on the bench. Yeah, save it that All money, right. man. Save it that money. Yeah. Uh, I, I, that's 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 me. Yeah. That's that's me, dude. I mean, I I don't like to play. Like I said, I don't like to play the the lottery of choosing a goalkeeper. I mean, the game is a lottery anyway. And honestly, the amount of times where I've done the two to two rotating goalkeepers and I've messed, I've I've been like, oh yeah, that's an easy fixture. I'll play, you know, I'll play Fabianski. And, yeah. And it's like that was me every day. Yeah. So so but but play the game. Of course, play the game how you want to play. I mean, I'm not trying to say don't rotate goalkeepers. I'm just saying just you know that's an option for you to free up some money. It was at the start of last season. You know that Cardiff keeper who got like 15 points in consecutive game weeks. Penalty mm. saves. Yeah, I left him on the bench both times, and <laughs> from then, yeah, it's it's yeah, but like I mean, you that Stevo, I agree, I agree that the team is is a solid team, possibly a couple of tweaks to be made. Um, wouldn't I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be putting extra headaches in in your side with goalkeeper rotations and also picking a goalkeeper that isn't a certainty. Um, but yeah, I think you're almost, I think you're almost there, and and come on tomorrow night and tell me how what you've done. Thank you very much. No worries. I hope the uh, I hope the uh, guys in the community can help you uh, decide on what to do. Um, but yeah, yeah, thank you ever so cheers, much. Lads. Cheers, cheers, Zach. Speak to you soon. Hopefully, cheers, dude. Wow, uh, another different team there. Um, we've got a few other people waiting in. We've got Talcol, Ruddy's Pogs, uh, Tornado Gangsters. I, I'm gonna just call him Tornado from now on, and Zulu Ninja as well. Um, so guys in chat. Um, <laughs> Uh, we've got an interesting couple of comments here. Jason, Fantasy Football uh, Focus says, Jason has a bigger microphone than Eddie Howe. It's not that big. Maybe maybe my head's just really small. Um, we've got um, Upgrade, Kevin Ward-Price to Alan Rambasaka, something with that extra money. Yep, Brett Mollison, decent decent idea there. Agreed, agreed with uh, Wambasaka. Um, week five at the back, not the same. Makes me nervous, need a bigger couch. Have you got? Have you gone with five at the back at the moment, Brett Mollison, by any chance? I mean, this Trossard has been talked up by so many people. I, I really, I really don't think he's going to be jetting off to high, high standards start of the season. I really don't. But I, I, I look forward to be proven wrong. If Salah doesn't score, I might go a well. Says Nuno Santo. If I do, if you well, do, tell, tell us live on air. 
if you do game week, if you do well game week one, I want to see a bit of hair. Absolutely, I agree to that. Um, I'm going to be up to at least two, three a.m. tonight finalizing my team. Says John Harris. Um, we've got. <laughs> See, right, so block's gone, we know that. But yeah, it's you guys just Eddie Howe microphone joke. Love it. But but yeah, um should we get someone else on? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's find out uh, how excited they are for tomorrow. Right, let's go with someone who's been waiting a while. We've got Tal Call thirty. Tal Call thirty, welcome to the stream. You're live on the early FPL call in. You're with myself, Jason and Steve O. Have you been enjoying the stream? Oh, it's amazing. Having a lot of fun. Excellent. Well, thank you ever so much for being here on the show again. How's your, uh, I, I, we won't go straight into your team. Um, what did you think of mine and Steve-O's team when we posted it earlier? Do you think we're on the we're, we're very opposite end of the spectrum and the FPL spectrum? Um, what, what do you think? Um, how we're set up? Personally, I I have a really 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 similar team to Jason, so I'm I'm more leaning to the Jason Jason's team. Okay. Um. So so really good. So pick. let's 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 just get your team up. Have you posted it recently? Oh uh, yeah, twenty three forty. Oh uh, no, sorry, nine forty p.m. Wait, no, because I, I have to translate it from the. It's, yeah, it's just nine forty, dude. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can read 24 hour into normal, uh, 12 hour. Right. So yeah, your team's here. We've got, um, right. So, okay. Okay. So the three, five, two, okay. So, so, okay. Four, five, one. Montoya. Montoya is, is, I really put him like last second right now. Have you been watching the uh, shout cast by any chance? No. Oh, so so talk me through this then. So Ryan and Button in goal, we 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 know about that. So Montoya, Montoya, Zinchenko, Robertson, Wambasaka as the four. Um, now I quite like I quite like what you've done here. Uh, that midfield very very strong. It's the same midfield as me. You've managed to get Callum Wilson there as your as your as your attacker. I like that team. I really like that team really really like that team i think mm. that is not i don't think it's better than mine but i like it so basically what i i tried to do i really wanted uh kevin de bruyne and callum wilson like with salah and sterling and so i i, I had to downgrade somewhere in the team and i got to montoya which isn't too bad because he's playing as a our basically right midfielder yeah. As, yeah. So. Uh, so so basically, the difference between our teams is that you've got Wilson instead of I've got King, and you've got Montoya, and I've got Dinya. That's basically that. That's basically the difference. Well, I'm not sure about Montoya, and I don't know how to change that too without having to change Wilson to King, which I'm not a fan of. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I think you're picking Wilson over. So so it's a question of. Wilson being your front runner, the money being invested in Wilson or bringing that money back into your defense. You've gone with Wilson. I think a lot of chat will be looking at that. Yeah, I think a lot of people in chat are talking talking highly of your team. I think they, they like your team. Um, the De Bruyne dilemma. I don't think there's a De Bruyne dilemma, Littman. Um, I think I think he's, just, he's great to have in your team and you can be really confident going in with him. Um, but I know, I know, it's the funds. It's the funds, isn't it? Um, yeah. I yeah, I like that team. I really like that team. I think you're set. If you're if you're confident, Wilson's going to do better than King. Stick with that team. If you're not, mm. if you're not, then maybe upgrade Montoya. Do what I've done. Go to Dinya, um, for example. So I'm not. I'm conf I'm pretty confident that Wilson will do better than King, but I'm not confident at all that D that uh, Montoya will be as maybe as good as Dinya. Yeah, and so I'm all right now. That's the only thing that I might change in the team. Okay, well that's that's cool. Um, so Stevo, um, very quiet. Again, you got anything you want to ask our friend Tal Cole here? Yeah, uh, just your thoughts on our predictions earlier on. Are you seeing uh, Liverpool and Man City both destroying their respect? Yeah, definitely. Opponents this. Uh, 
Is Steve-O breaking up for you too? Game week. Uh, a bit. I, I can still make up the words though. But he is breaking up for you. Uh, this is important information because we need to know if it's his connection or mine. Oh, a bit, a bit. Not, not yeah, too yeah. much. Okay, cool. No worries. Uh, so, so again, Steve, I think you're back now. Uh, what did you say? I think he answered the questions. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> Sorry, okay, what was the answer? Yeah. Sorry. On the, yeah, basically, I mean... the both teams will get to a good start. <laughs> right. Not to a good start. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, <clears throat> apologies for that, everybody. Um, obviously, it broke up a little bit there. Um, Barkley Thought says Darshan uh, in chat. Barkley is a player that I feel is going to play well under Chelsea. He, he looks like he could be revitalized under Lampard. He's a wait and see still, though. I think maybe not jumping on him straight away in game week one and giving it a few game weeks to assess. That's my initial, but if you're looking to get a, get ahead of the crowd on Barkley, then it could be a good pick. And, and the same for Pulisic, um, SKZ. I think these players are, they are a bit more of a risk, a bit more of a gamble, in my opinion, getting those in. Um, but yeah, this team is a great team. Um, thank you for being on and sharing it with us, Telco. Do I just have one more question? Yeah, sure. I think of Tierney. I, I... What do I think of Tierney? I think, um, yeah, I think he's made... I mean, Arsenal have signed a great fullback and he's not fully fit. I don't think he'll be expected to play much of a you know, first game versus Newcastle. I think that um, I think he could be one to watch, um, but I wouldn't be jumping at Arsenal defenders anytime soon. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. Lots of players to watch at the moment, that's the thing. Play you are either gonna play it safe. So ultimately it boils down to players that play it safe, FPL managers play it safe, or FPL managers that take a few bets and few few risks. I mean, a few gambles in their team, like bringing in um Barkley, for example. Um, you know. Steve, are you are you there still? You you've gone you gone a little bit small again. But you were doing so well. Brilliant. I don't, I don't know, mate. Yeah, I, I it's, don't it's, know. It's yeah, a simple it's, comment. I don't we need know. to get you. We need to get this wired connection sorted out. If you can do it, it'd be great. But um, anyway, so we've got a few more people waiting to come on air. Um, we'll bring in um, chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka t- chicken tikka masala. You're live on the Elite FPL call in with myself and Stevo. Um, uh, ha- can you hear yeah. me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. Steve, I'm just going to recall you again. Hopefully it'll fix the issue. Um, so, yeah. Did you have time to look through um, our teams earlier on when we posted? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, both both good teams. Both sort of uh, different, obviously, formations. But, yeah, I think both are, both are decent ones, yeah. Have you? Are you set on your team? Um, yeah, I've, I've, um, I've looked a bit um, at the recent history for one... One of my players um, I recently added, and uh, yeah, so. Okay, so let's bring your team up. Let's go find it. Did you post it recently? Yeah, yeah. Hey, am I supposed to leave? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You can do. It. I'll just drag you out. It's no issue. Players <laughs> there still. Uh, but you got uh, Ryan in goal, Wan Bissaka, Van Dyke, Dinya and Zinchenko. Solid back line there. I like it. Um, Sterling triple captain Salah. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually really thinking of doing it because uh, two of two of uh, Norwich uh, first team defenders, Zimmerman and uh, another defender, uh, both out injured. So I think Liverpool wow. are run riot. But I mean, can I just? I, I look at this team and I think, how can you afford this four three three with that front line and those? Uh, well, <laughs> I just can't get my head around it. It's just like I've now got this doubt in my head about uh, my team earlier on, and uh, I'm looking at all these teams. I'm thinking I'm going to rip up the, the team sheet here, but I'm loving the triple captaincy. I'd love it if you did go through with it, and I really do hope that it would pay off. Yeah, based on your research. Yeah, I think that, um, that's an amazing team. I think it'd be a good idea, and I've added um, I've added Firmino because uh, l- l- obviously, like I said. Um, I think I think they're going to batter them, and Firmino has got good history, I believe, against Norwich in the few games he has played. I remember, I remember the game they won. At, I think it was at Carrow Road, five four, um, 
and he scored two, I think, and got two assists. So I'm just hoping he he does really well and scores a few. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't it be ironic if uh, Firmino's the man you should have triple captain rather than Salah? And again, this is the this is the the dilemma that you've got to go through. Yeah, but I'm pretty I'm pretty um confident on Salah. I think uh, obviously he had he had a lot of chances against Man City. Obviously, he didn't score. Uh, but I think uh, he could run right because, like I said, and also I think uh, their their manager uh, Daniel Farker said uh, that you know they're not going to sit back; they're going to play yeah. like how they do on the counter attack. I think they will score. That's why I've took uh, Robertson out um, and I've gone with Firmino instead because I think mm. they're just going to leave um, you know a lot of space. And Mane might be back as well. Klopp said uh, so. Hopefully he starts and they just batter him and yeah Salad does well and Firmino well fair play that's a really strong team I like the look of that team um, obviously still gone triple Liverpool you've gone with Perez really good I, I mean that that team has got wow some big names they, they're big names all over that team um, well, let's just I, th- I think what sums up Norwich in that 5-4 victory is the fact that Ben Teke got a goal and assist, and he was a substitute. Uh, yeah. Firmino <laughs> got two goals and an assist. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, so, look, very much looking forward to seeing if you stick with that team. Are you going to stick with that team? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure. I feel. I feel uh, really confident. Um, just going back over it. Um, and I think, and and my plan, my plan is, uh, after game week one. Uh, is to um, take out Firmino and put in a Bamiyang, um, and then take out Will, take out Wilson, um, and downgrade to uh, to Yotta. Oh, wow! Oh, that 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 is a great plan. That is a great great plan, dude. <laughs> dude, stick with your plan. Stick with your plan. That is good. <laughs> well, you know, whenever I do. When we do these call-ins and looking over people's teams, I just think, do I actually know anything about fantasy football whatsoever? <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, great plan. It's just hard. Um, it's just hard, you know, because obviously, even if even if you think uh, Steve, you know, you, your team looks weak, it can still do well. You know, it's only the first game week, so mm. it's all about luck. Um, you know, I think the first game week, especially, you know, so yeah. Well, thank you very much, Charlie, for coming on and sharing your team with us because that, no that has impressed a lot of people in chat. It's impressed me and Steve-O. You've got a good plan and fair play to you, my friend. If you stick with that triple captaincy on Tat Salah and he pays off, then you've got permission to be as smug as you want in Discord <laughs> and on here. But I, I, honestly, I, there's people talking about doing it, but they're not going to do it because they, they haven't got the guts. You've got the guts... If you've got the guts, then then fair play, because I hope you're not just posting that for for just a, a reaction. But uh, I'm sure you wouldn't do that. Yeah. Excellent, Charlie. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Speak soon. Uh, just a quick uh, quick notification. We're virtually getting record views at the moment. If you are enjoying this uh, game week preview, just simply hit that like button. It helps and to show that you're supporting the show. So thank you very much. I think maybe just a couple more callers, Jason. Yeah, absolutely. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you like the content too, we're going to be pumping out lots more. We're going to be live all pretty much all night tomorrow night. We're going to go through the highs and lows of the FPL and hit that notification bell as well. Let, let you know when we go live. Because at the moment, we're going to try and get a schedule. We'll talk about the schedule. We're going to get set times, set days, so you know exactly when we're going to be live. But we're going to bring in, uh, we've got a few, wow, we've got quite a few people actually waiting uh, to come on live. We've got Ollie's at the wheel. I want to I want to hear this because obviously he's a United fan. Ollie's at the wheel. This may be the first time you've joined us on air. Yeah. You're live on air with myself, Jason, and Steve-O on the FPL call-in. Can you hear me, Ollie? Your microphone is muted, Ollie. Can you, un- can you unmute your microphone? There we go. There we go. Hello, Ollie. Can you hear me? And five, four, three, two, one. And Ollie's not here. So let's go. Let's bring on uh, Ruddy's Pogs, didn't you? And Z- oh, Zulu-, Zulu Ninja's been waiting for a while. Zulu Ninja, live on air with Elite FPL call in. Welcome. All uh, right. 
How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Um, so we we've been talking FPL, um, which for over an hour and a half now. It's probably more than that, actually. No, it's more than it's coming up to two hours. Um, but first and foremost, are you set for game week one? Yes, team fully locked in, mate. Fully locked in. Okay, fully so locked in. Are you confident? You've got it. You got it set, and you're going to get some big points this uh, this weekend. No. <laughs> 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 what time did you post your team? Have you posted your team at all? Uh, quarter to ten. Quarter to ten. Okay, one minute. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec. Well, no, this is like this is the first year I've took it serious. Basically, I've always been a casual player up until now. So, okay. Like, why, why, why this year have you taken it seriously? Um, it's all my mates just like stopped playing it. What have you? So I just started looking around. Discovered you guys two days ago. Joined the Discord and. Seeing how how serious everyone took it here has just filled me with so much motivation. It's absolutely awesome. Wow! So you, you're joining the and roller coaster ride then this season with all of us. <laughs> absolutely. So so you joined the community two days ago. You're live on air yeah. talking about your team. And what do you what do you find about the community? What do you find about the Discord for those people in chat that may not have joined Discord for whatever reason? It's just it's just absolutely brilliant. Friendly atmosphere. Great banter. Uh, today is Dendonk Appreciation Day, for those who don't know. What's he done? It, it, he's, he's, he's alive. He's been born. He's just a great guy. It was <laughs> it was just what happened in Hangout earlier. We just Excellent. For for why we got Tonto Dendonk, I don't he's, know. It's he's he's going to be highly but, selected, isn't he, this season? Yeah, I think he's on everyone's bench. If he's not on your bench, you've lost FPL already. Excellent. I think that was, so, that was the We'll go through a few of these picks. Um, there's no, I mean, there's a, there's a couple. I mean, there's a couple here. There's, there's first and foremost, Alderweireld. Apologies if I can't say his name. Alderweireld <laughs> and uh, Keen. Um, so, so those two are stand out from a lot of the teams I've seen. Now, I want, we don't want to, we don't need to talk about all the other selections just yet. Yep. What is your thinking about Tottenham defence? With Toby Alderweireld and Moise King for uh, for Everton, then. Okay, uh, Toby is in for game week one and week one only, and he'll be getting transferred out after that because the plain filler, and I reckon there'll be a clean sheet. And he's probably going to get transferred out for. I'm looking at Teeny, but then sort of week three and four, Arsenal have got tricky fixtures. Because they've obviously got Liverpool and Spurs, so uh, I don't know about that. So then, then looking at Cancelo, but then City have got some tricky fixtures coming up. So the defensive transfer, I'm unsure on, but uh, Aldo Wireld will be getting transferred out after the game week one. Okay. And Moisey Keane, I think he is going to bang, and he's going to bang in a big, big way. Everton's fixtures are just too good to turn down at the start of the game. I mean, in the opening 10 fixtures, they've only got Man City. Well, I hope you're right. I mean, again, the, there's been a lot of players we've been talking about, about being early wildcard contenders. M- Moise Keane could well be on one of those one of those players that just kicks off the season with a bang. Obviously, the, the preferable fixtures that Everton have got. People are, Not a lot of people are bringing him in because they weren't like me. They're waiting to see what he does. I, I'm more safe. At the beginning of the season, I try to play safe. I respect people that want to go and bring in these players that are looking so... I mean, he did well last season. Um, and, you know, in that Everton team, he could do really, really well. But I'm just... I'm thinking from a safety point of view, I just want to wait and see how he performs in the Premier League. I respect that you've brought him in. And I'm looking forward to you uh, showing us how he does this weekend and having you come on air again and talk about what points you've got. Are you going to stick with the captaincy on Salah by all chance? Again, it's a weird one because I'm a Liverpool fan, so yeah. it's it's like taking it off Salah is like sacrilege. But uh, do you want to give it a Sterling and be different from everyone else? It's it's one of those strange ones. So I'm really unsure what to do yet. That's the only choice I haven't quite decided on. Are you worried about like the minutes that Moise Keane may not 
be featuring for for a large part of the game or you may not even start the game and obviously potential um you know conflict with obviously a Wobi now starting will it possibly affect keen says aussie boy in chat which quite rightly so i mean there's there's a lot of it are you a little bit concerned that at the start of the season he may be phased in or you are you confident he's going to start the game and he's going to um I'm not concerned about the Awobi transfer in the slightest. Yeah. To be fair, nah, not at all. I think the guy's trash, to be completely honest. Um, and especially for the opening fixture as well. Yeah. Everton have literally just signed him, so he's not going to. Awobi's not going to start the opening fixture, so Keane will start that one. Okay. Fair. He'll he'll bang and he'll keep his place in the team. I look I look forward to uh, having you on the show talking about Keane's potential returns at the weekend um one more thing do you want to say before you uh, we get the next caller on um no just keep up the good work guys and if anybody hasn't joined the discord seriously guys join it excellent thank you ever so much for all the support and thank you for you know two days ago thank you for, for f finding our stream mm. how, how did you find out about our stream by any way um i stumbled across one of your old stream videos on youtube i think it was all oh, right okay and uh, yeah well we're, we're, we're glad to have you with us. Thank you ever so much. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. Cheers, Zulu. Speak soon. Cheers, dude. Well, just... Wow. Um, two days. He's been here for two days and he's he's on our Discord talking about his team. And it could be you guys. You could be coming on this weekend talking about your teams as well. He's, uh, he, he's been uh, with us for two days and got a better team than me. I'm not bitter. Um, on to, I reckon, the final core of the night, I reckon, yeah. Jason. I reckon go with him. Um, Ollie's at the wheel. He's unmuted his mic, so... Ollie's at the wheel. You've uh, we've got Try another chance to talk to us. Can you hear us? Ollie's at the wheel. Can you hear us? He's not there, is he, Jason? No. Oh, we've got another. We got. Uh, we're going to try and bring some new play new faces on the show this evening. I know we've got Ruddy's Pogs and Tornado Gangsters in there as well, but we've got got a few new people here. We're going to try and get them on. Um, um, Alex, Alexis, can you hear us? You're live on the LFPL call in with myself, Jason, Steve O. Hello. <laughs> can you hear us, Alexis? I see. I, 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 see I see the mics lighting. I see the mics lighting up, but I'm not getting any voices coming out of it. Okay, Ab Abdul. Let's see if we can get Abdul. Abdul, um, on air. Hello, Abdul. Can you hear us? You're live on the FPL call in. Abdul, can you un 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 unmute your mic? There we go. Abdul, can you hear us? You're live on the FPL call in. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, can you mute? Your, can you mute the stream? Abdul. Can you can you stop listening to the stream and unmute and uh, yeah, just uh, mute the stream. Okay, mute, the mute the, yeah, 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 yeah. Mute the stream. Otherwise, we won't be able to have a conversation. Um, Abdul. Yeah. Um, welcome you live on the on the show. Um, first and foremost, um, are you set for game week one? I'm locked in ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent locked in. Okay, so where where are you calling us from, Abdul? I'm from Leicester. So. Leicester. All right, I'm expecting to see some Leicester players. Are you a Leicester fan or? Yeah, yeah, I was. I went to nine games last season. So. Oh, brilliant! Oh, brilliant! Okay, let's have a look. Where did where did you post your team, Abdul? Can I find it here somewhere? It's um, it's um, yeah, it's just here. It's twenty two oh four. It's a three five two formation for people listening audio. It's Edison in goal, Van Dyke, Alexander Arnold, Dina, Sterling, Barkley, Salah, Perez, Wilson, oh, Wilson, oh Will, 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 oh Harry Wilson. I just gonna get confusing. Less than one percent. King uh, straight away. Harry Wilson. Why did you bring him in? Um, basically, I had six million, six million left. I was looking for somebody decent, and then he popped up. And then, like I remember, he was scoring that preseason. He scored a mad goal, injured as well. So I think they brought him in to start. So I think he's mm. he's going to play. I don't think he's going to be on the bench. I think he's definitely going to play in the team. Yeah, in, a, in an attacking form of team, I think that this Harry Wilson could potentially prove what Liverpool could be getting in the future. Um, I mean, the rest of your team is pretty template, to be honest with you. But uh, Ross Barkley, you're confident that he's going to push on with Chelsea and actually do really well for them? I think he's, I've been watching him in pre-season. He's had a very good pre-season. 
a major role to play. So I think he's probably one of oh, Lampard's he's... go-to yeah, he... men. He's been playing like lightning. Yeah, he's been playing. He's on fire at the moment in preseason. Um, so I mean, looking through that Lampard team, likes it, so I think he's going to be on the team sheet. First name on the team sheet. First name on. Okay, okay, yeah, I can see that. So I mean, looking at that team, there's a lot of proven players in there. Um, there's a million in the bank as well. And money in the bank. What do you? What have you got in the bank? Million in the bank. A million in the bank. Oh wow. wow. Okay. So what did you plan to do with that million? I'm gonna bring in Haller. Like I, I had that in my original draft. I'm gonna bring in Haller in game two for Dela Ah yes. Yes. I like that. I like team. that a lot. I, just... I think that's a really good uh, uh, uh plan there. That's a great strategy. It's a really good strategy. I like that. I like that team. I like that team. I'm gonna give you that Abdul. You've got a you've got a great team there. You've got spread out. You spreaded the funds out pretty well. You've got a very good. Go- I mean, the, the the goalkeeper Edison Van Dijk, Alexander Arnold doubled up on the Liverpool defenders. Attacking um, attacking threat with Alexander Arnold. Attacking threat with Dinya. Good fixtures for Dinya. Wilson for I mean, yeah, it's a bit of a zoom on the bench as well. So. I know. You've got, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good team. It's a good team, mate. Good budget defender for people who are looking for a cheap defender because I think now Louise is gone, so you definitely yeah. starting. You would you would expect that, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, Wilson obviously Wilson is, um, yeah, Wilson's the only question mark. Yeah, he is a question mark. Yeah, he is. But I mean, if he doesn't play, you got Zuma coming off. But I think he, I think he will play. Um, Perez, Salah, Barkley, Sterling. I mean, these, yeah. I mean, Barkley for me, I'm not 100 percent on, but you know, go, just going on season preseason form. You know, you'd be confident going into this week. Um, obviously, away at United, I wouldn't expect too much. I think United are pretty easy, are short up in defence, but you never know. You might get a penalty, VAR. You just don't know. Um, Delafeu, home to Brighton. I can see him doing something there. And King, I mean, I've got King in my team, Sheffield United. I think there's a potential for him to get returns. I like it. I like that team. Um, are you, uh, hopefully, you'll stick with it. You say you're 99% going to stick with it. 99% and, I'm locked in. Locked in it took a while to get there, but... Yeah, it's a, it's a solid team. I like it. I think Steve-O does too. A lot of the chat are talking about it. Like, they like your uh, team as well. Obviously, mentioned Harry Wilson, but um, yeah, I just think that uh, I think you'd be all right. Um, but but yeah, anything you want to add before we, uh, we 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 get you off air? Yeah, last last season was my first season. Yeah, so I did like about 160 transfers. So 100 <laughs> game week two. I like it. I like I like your thought process. Stick with it. Stick with your gut feeling as well. Obviously, Harry Wilson. And you know Barkley. I mean, these these players could easily, you know, perform for their teams. And you know, not going to be highly owned as well. So you're going to have a bit of a differential there. And you've got the main players in Sterling and Salah. So and Perez. So yeah, yeah, good for me. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon, Abdul. Hopefully the weekend we can talk about it. Cheers, buddy. Thank you ever so much, dude. Well, Jason, the stream seems to have gone off air. No, no, we're still on air. Okay. A lot of people in chat. Oh, it doesn't matter. I think I think we should uh, just call it a night, Jason. I think there's been a lot of technical issues today. I've not. And, yeah, yeah. I've not had any, any nothing. My end saying it's no, it's fine. Um, but but yeah, it, we'll we'll get to the bottom of these technical hiccups, guys. No worries. Me and Steve will have a, a diagnosis. Um, but I'm not getting any drop frames on my end. But yeah, it's fine. Um, thank you ever so much, everybody that's tuned in this evening. We've had record. We've had record views. I think we had 200. I think we've had 202 for this evening. And uh, and we were in competition with the biggest fantasy uh, streamer as well. So absolute all credit to you guys for joining in with us. Stay, stay, and staying with us as well um, through all the technical glitches earlier on in the stream. I do yeah. apologise. We'll try and iron those out. But sometimes it's part and parcel of doing it live, I'm afraid. Um, but you guys rock, all of you, for giving us all that support. And we look forward to tomorrow night. And tomorrow night is yeah. going to be an absolute carnage. Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be, I'm excited. Um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, if you haven't already hit, please hit that like button if you've liked the stream. Um, and we look forward to speaking to you in Discord and um, looking forward to the meltdowns that are going to ensue tomorrow. So with that, with that on that note, we're signing off. Say good night, Steve. Good night, all. Cheers now. Take care. I, just, just of interest. Where, whereabouts are you? Not, not in the world, but are you near like a an industrial? Um... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> machine or something. It's for here. Uh, two seconds. Uh, just ask a couple of questions. So I just need to get the door for yeah, a second. No Sorry. Problem, this mate. is this is what happens when you're lying. Dad, what's going on? Uh, not really. I'm waiting to go to gym. What about yourself? Um, live on YouTube doing a stream. Why do you feel that you're constantly changing your teammate? Is it just, just, just so many so ideas? So many ideas, so many different perspectives. I br I blame Brett Mollison for his five at back because when you see my new team, <laughs> wow, Brighton home. They couldn't buy a goal in the little last season. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Dan's got Dan's got Glenn Murray. I think he'll have a word to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm detecting possibly a German accent. I'm probably completely way out, but where are you calling us from? S South Africa. <laughs> I'm the first dad. Literally just types in FPL. Like first draft. And yours came up like first. Mm. So I thought, oh, well, I'll watch one of the live streams when it comes on. And then I thought, this is a bit long, isn't it? About two hours in. And then three hours later, well, an hour later, I was like, yeah, these seem all right, you know. What do Steven's we... not that bad. I have one, que I have one question for you. I, I, want, um, I want you to predict the order of the Elite FPL ranking. So, like, who, who, do you think will, who do you think will finish first, second, and third out of y'all three this season? So, it's certainly, no disrespect to Dan, but it's certainly going to be between me and Jason and... Right now, as it stands, I'd go with Jason because my history suggests that I'm going to be having a bad season. So I've got the uh, the five at the back. I just see a lot of value there. I feel like if I if I don't have Salah, I can spread the money elsewhere and maybe maybe get the points another way. Um, All the teams now, except for obviously Salah and Sterling, these players, a lot of players are going to change towards the start of the season just because of new transfers. Um, injuries that could happen and every, all of that. So for me to tell you now, like personally right now, I'd say definitely if Tammy Abraham or Batshuayi are cheap, I'd get one of them just because I don't care about the Man United. We can score against them at least two or three. Hey guys, this season we're using Discord. It's a text and voice application where you can talk all things FPL with fellow community members. You can post your team in the Rate My Team, talk in the general chat. You can look at transfer news, look at awesome gifts. Sign up for our Cash Mini League, look at our previous podcasts, and even join us live on air in one of our streams. We look forward to seeing you guys. Link is in the description or look at the code on screen.